New research finds product label changes on acetaminophen still didn't prevent accidental overdoses. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is getting answers on why that is and how to protect you and your family from a trip to the emergency mm. room. Liz. Well, guys, about 60 million Americans use acetaminophen like Tylenol on a weekly basis to treat pain, fever, and aches. Yet there are thousands of ER visits in the U.S. each year for accidental overdoses. So I spoke to a local doctor on how to change that. Changing labels on acetaminophen to list the overdose risk or to identify which products contain the medication did not help reduce hospital admissions for accidental overdoses. That's according to new research published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. While the label has changed, I'm not sure that we have enough people looking at it. Dr. Padma Galore is Director of Pain Management Strategy and Opioid Surveillance with Duke Health. A Tylenol or acetaminophen is so widespread in terms of its use and acceptance in, in our social structure that many people will not look at the label again, you know, for new information. And I think that has prevented the awareness that we're hoping. Researchers found overdoses of the common, generally safe, over-the-counter pain reliever are responsible for 56,000 emergency room visits, 2,600 hospitalizations, and 500 deaths in the U.S. each year, 50% of which are unintentional overdoses. We also have to recognize there are more than 500 medications available outside that are combinations. So you may not realize it, but you're actually taking more acetaminophen because some of your other medications may have acetaminophen as well. To avoid a trip to the emergency room, Dr. Galore encourages you to follow the dosage guidance on the label and be sure to check your other medications to avoid exceeding the dose. Each time you get uh, a bottle, a new bottle, it's a good practice to kind of read it. It's just being cautious um, and increasing your awareness and those around you. And Tylenol or acetaminophen should be kept out of reach of children. Dr. Galore says if you take more than you should or don't feel like yourself, get help as soon as possible. Guys. All right, Liz. Thank